Would you come with me and run away? Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed, better known as Just Another Gamer, and I will be guiding you throughout this video. To start with the base tour, the base has six external TCs that use the same concept but with two different designs, and each TC is connected to its own entrance. Starting from the left, we have a two triangle six rocket disconnectable TC connected to a alone in Tokyo gatehouse. Then we have a disconnectable six rocket flank base that also has one of our three large batteries. This is how you disconnect the TCs. Entering the compound, we find auto turrets guarding every possible breach during a raid. The furnaces are also placed in a way to prevent raiders from hiding behind them without running into the turrets line of sight. Entering the base, we find a jump up on the left that leads to one of the three emergency bedrooms in case your core gets pummeled. Then we find a window that looks straight into the core and the peak downs. And above the window, we find a ladder hatch that takes us to the shooting floor. Access the bunkers. And the bunkers are alone 30 plus rockets to gain access to, each holding two large boxes. However, and thanks to Mini Satori for showing me this method, you can fit four large boxes in each bunker, but this needs practice to get the perfect alignment, so in case you're lazy, use the method I show. Peakdowns are separated with single doors to limit traders mobility during a raid. The walls are also great for keeping the peak stable after a rocket pummel. To open the ladder hatch, you'll either need the furnace to jump on or a ladder to assist you to reach it. Ramp peaks provide us with good coverage towards the breach and safe points to fall to when you wanna heal or retreat. 
It's also important to know that you can shoot rockets through this gap. The shooting floor is a combination of wide gapped and normal shooting floors that is completely unladderable but isn't grub proof. On the third floor we find couple boxes and a locker. I would also highly recommend that you leave ceiling mats, spare ammo and medical syringes in these boxes. Jumping up we find the bed that I forgot to place before recording. This is how the roof looks like. And in case the roof isn't enough to fulfill your roof camp desires, I got you. Dropping back to the second floor, we find more boxes, a sleeping bag and a level 3 workbench. On the first floor we find more boxes and the TC. Alright, as for the discussion, I decided to make it plain unedited footage just so that I could explain what I want to explain. First, I'll start with the pixel gaps. Now, you might be asking, won't these like when these boxes take damage through the floor well here is your answer zero damage the second question is can you hide the bunkers well yes simply place a wall frame and the garage door and now just to access them like keep those open once you want to log off just close them but this is a bit annoying like if if this is closed and like during a raid this is closed is good for you but it's like a bit blocking some vision you know but i mean it's good either ways it like limits the people's mobility more and it just hides your bunker, you know, like if it's closed, no one can access it. Also, keep in mind that when you key lock them, like if you key lock the boxes, you can, you can also like just key lock the boxes from above, you know. You can remove, aim down. Once you get the open option, just unscope, hold your key lock and pre press left click and you can see that there is a key lock right now here and it's very important to key lock them because if you don't key lock them anyone can simply if anyone knows about the exploit they can just scope down and skip 50 rockets or 16 rockets or whatever boom they they need to use for the bunkers they can sim simply skip them and loot your boxes and call it a day so always key lock the boxes I don't know why my frames are dropping. Always key lock the boxes. If you want to hide it, use a garage door. You can also use a wire, like place some electrical shit, like a splitter maybe, and the blocker both have three outputs and like outputs and inputs. You can place the wire perfectly here, but once you place the wire, you won't be able to loot it. So this would be like a self seal, like a, a a pixel seal for the bunker 
just so that no one can even like spear them out or whatever the case may be you can just place a, a wire on this line the second thing that i want to talk about is the peak downs there is something that you need to know just so that you don't fall in the same mistake i fell into like the first couple times building the base no well not first couple times first time so if you want to build the peaks you need to place this wall before you place this ramp because once this wall is like once the ramp is placed and you don't have this wall placed you won't be able to replace this wall so what i usually do or what i should do is like just remove this ramp place this wall if i don't have enough materials i just keep it quick then i would simply place this rig here jump on top rotate until i get the green thingy the blue thingy sorry place it and that's it and once i get enough i start upgrading this so this is something that you need to be very aware of the third thing that i want to talk about is the roof now for me i won't have low walls here and i won't have these roofs like this way here i would have windows all the way around with embrasures and reinforced glass windows here i would have half walls the windows and have this head glitch P. this is very op with a heavy helmet because only your head will be visible sometimes like in this case your head will be visible only and with a heavy helmet this is pretty op if you use this keep in mind that when you die your body falls you even can rocket through this gap this is some invisible shit you can rocket straight down you know so what you can do is place a rug just like this grab the rug place it before you place the turret of course and you can place the turret later on place a rug right here place the second right here then you can place low walls and place your turret the last thing that i want to talk about is these externals for me i wouldn't use disconnectable tcs here i would use large furnace bases i would completely remove all the furnaces from my compound it's because it's attention seeking like if someone sees six large furnaces inside your compound he's gonna say that's our next straight target <laughs> you know so what i would do is i would remove all of this i would place one more square foundation and then start with a large furnace base just like that place walls all around here i also place walls then of course you need to remove this place roof triangles and this will close and you have your furnace in the middle your tc here or whatever the case now for early game if you don't have like enough materials to finish the entire thing but you want to place tool cupboards to like extend your privilege you can simply do this place these walls place your tc here then place walls all around oh no it should stay it should go place walls all around with this entrance or if not you can just place those and your privilege will transfer from the tc following the walls to upkeep whatever foundations you placed like before this is placed and i think that's about it do we have anything else i don't think so sorry if i missed anything oh yeah one more thing don't ever lower these walls if you want to ha have them half height it'll block pretty much half the vision that you'll get you know if these are half heights if you want to place them low walls 
anyone can like run behind the turret and hide behind them or if you have any grub in your compound you can simply just run crouch and bait the turret you know you can simply bait the turret and also don't hide don't, don't like make these foundations higher and there's one thing that you can do that i learned from a worker that he posted a video earlier on this chain link fences if you use them inside the turret neither spears nor arrows like anything projectile of course bullets will count like if i shoot the turret from here oh wait all right my bad any projectile that goes through this is invalid however rockets of course will deal damage and effing grenades thrown from the top will deal damage but any projectile shot at the turret from behind the chain link fence will deal zero damage to the turret so this is insanely good for grubs and i think that's about it for the discussion let's jump straight into the base build
Thank <laughs> you. 